Titus Rain Crochet. Today we're going to do this really cute lighter holder. Holder, it is a mushroom. And then the top slides up and there's your lighter if you need it right there. And it slides back down. It is a Nicholas. This pattern is actually from Cassandra Shaw and I will attach the Etsy link if you guys would like to buy the pattern but for um, for this I will be walking you through. I'm using worsted weight yarn and it takes so little yarn. Um, these are great for scrap projects actually and a three millimeter hook. We're going to start with uh, my magic ring. Let's single crochet six. Okay, center up. We're going to increase, which is two single crochets in the same stitch. I am going to um, crochet my end in as I go. Got seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve. So this is the base of the lighter here. So go ahead and try to cinch it up. It isn't um, a major necessity if it isn't um, all the way closed by no means. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and we are going to do 12 rounds of these 12 single crochets. Um, and if I were you, I, well, I put, don't move your stitch marker. I don't move my stitch marker. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and just crochet, 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 and then I'll stop and I'll just count, um, my rounds. Um, it, it is the holder, so it doesn't make a difference. Um, I just come back to where the stitch marker is, then I count up and um, until I have 12 rows. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys back here after your lighter holder is about this long. See you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm done with my 12 rows and I just want to give you guys, um, you guys as options here. So it may be I'm crocheting tighter or looser than before. I don't know. But this is 12 rows of this color here. And then this is 12 rows of this white. These are going to be hard to get in. You want them hard to get in because you don't want them falling out. But look how much shorter that is. It's the same amount of rows. So please, of course, feel free to throw a lighter in there and crochet as many rows as you think that you would like. I think that I can probably do three more rows pretty safely. So that's what I'm gonna, um, so as, as you can see, this sits here. Um, I could definitely do three more rows of this. This was a lot higher in that brown yarn than it is in this white. They're both a worsted weight yarn. I'm using the same hook, but who knows? Maybe I'm, I'm uh, crocheting a little tighter than I was earlier. Um, but please feel free to go ahead and make this as long as you would like to make this till you feel comfortable. And I will be back when I finish my three rounds. Okay, so I only added two more rows, but I feel um, a, a little bit better about that now um, that that's up there. You don't want your your yarn all the way up here anyway. You don't want it, one, you don't want it close to a flame. And two, if people you want people to be able to use it really easily and this isn't isn't blocking anything. So um, I ended up doing 14. You do whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, and of course, depending on uh, what your yarn is, is doing for you. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is we are going to chain 100 and 
50. When you do your chains, this is not like the beginning chain of a blanket that can be sloppy and not look good. You want your 150 chains to be con chains to be um, neat and um, to look the same. You don't, because this is the necklace. This is actually going to be the necklace um, of this slider holder. So you want to make sure this is looking real good because there's nothing we're going to do to cover it up. So um, when we get done, we're going to come back and attach it evenly on the other side. We have 12 stitches. We're using up two, so there should be five here and five over here. And I'm going to go ahead and meet you after the 150 stitches, and I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch to this side, and uh, we can move on. I'll meet you back then. Okay, so we went ahead and slip stitched um, to the stitch directly across. Uh, we chained one. We're going to crochet this in, in, in. Make sure you do a really good job because the weight is getting hung from this. We don't want something coming undone. Okay, let's move our, over to our red or whatever color you've decided that you are going to do. And this time we are going to single crochet 10 in the magic ring. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe and 10. There we are. We're going to go ahead and slip. Well, I'm not going to slip stitch because what we're going to do is we're going to go around. Let's get this tight. Now, this is the top here where, um, do you see how our the necklace is sliding through the top? So that hole up here, we want to go ahead and stay looking like this, right? Because we're going to go ahead and put that 150 chain um, through right there. So don't you don't need to cinch that up. Plus, that's too many stitches to really, that it probably won't tighten up anyway. Okay, so now we're going to do is we're going to single crochet increase, and we're going to do that all the way around. Single crochet increase. After this round, we're going to go ahead and do two single crochet increase, and I will meet you at the end of the second round. Okay, you finished your single crochet increase round, your two single crochet increase round, and now we are going to do three single crochet increase, which is going to leave us at the end of that with 25 stitches. After we finish this round of three single crochet increase, we are going to crochet 25 stitches around. We're going to do four rows of 25 stitches. I will meet you back after you have completed this round of three single crochets increase and four rounds of 25 stitches. Okay, did you guys sew your ends in? I bet you did. I haven't sewn this one in yet, but I will. So then we're going to go ahead and do our mushroom tops here. Now, you can do it one or two ways. This, I just cut some felt, but and I use this. I, for, I, this thing comes in so handy for me when I do my amigurumi, but I can make a perfect circle, but I can't seem to cut. A perfect circle with the scissors so I don't know this is flatter it's a lot faster um, but you can also do this way and this what I did was um, I did five uh, magic rings with six single crochets and then just slip stitch the beginning and um, tied my ends and in fact I just cut them short and then I glue glue them down with this I don't I don't sew each one of these on. Um, I just glue it down with some, um, I like to use this. This is my three-in-one um, all-purpose 
I love this glue. It's really easy to use and it works really well. So um, you could do either way that you want to do it. Then we're gonna go ahead and just take a little bit bigger hook. We're gonna come up through our hole here, grab our chain and pull it through. My end is still on, but, and there you go. And it's complete. Pretty easy breezy, huh? Well, thank you so much for uh, joining Ride as Rain Crochet today. And like always, please like, share, and subscribe.